Hello everyone, Rusted Ground here and welcome to Hand of Fate. Hand of Fate is an action RPG that combines uh, elements of RPG with deck building. Um, it's basically like a card game but then transforms into an RPG. Um, I know it sounds a little bit weird. When I first saw the game, I um, it reminded me of that um, Dexter, uh, Dexter's Laboratory episode in which Dexter plays uh, Dungeons and Dragons with his friends, and they play, and then they they become the heroes and stuff like that. You'll get you'll get it in a minute what I mean exactly. Um, it's um, I've been watching this game uh, for a few days now on YouTube and I've been reading some stuff about it and I think it's pretty interesting. It's been developed by a company called Defiant Development. It's been out since uh, February 2015 and I recently decided to buy it so and do a series on it. Why not? So here I am trying to play this uh, game with you guys. Um, I'm hoping it'll be as fun for you as I'm sure it'll be for me. So, uh, without further ado, let's start the game. Ah, one more for the game. Come, Sid. You have passed the 13 gates. And you come to my table to play the game of life and death. Your stake is wagered. I refuse none who come here. Yet, I say, turn back. Okay, let's start. The game begins. One lives and one dies. Let us see what you are made of. Here is the first member of my court, the Jack of Dust. Twelve in all must fall before you may challenge me. Jack of Dust, the bandit leader, is stronger and faster than most bandits encountered. He can become enraged, making powerful, unblockable attacks. He also inspires his followers to steal gold on each hit. In the ruins of an ancient temple, among the eternally shifting sand dunes, lives the mysterious leader of the desert bandits. Infamous for his reign of terror over any spice caravans that dare take their chances traveling through the domain, through his domain, he rules as a king over the barren lands. Cards fall where they may. We begin. Choose your next card, okay. Fair Merith. I'm not surprised to find that this encounter remains vivid in your memories. One day in a shady forest, you encounter an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. I am Merith of the Forest Folk. My people have long helped the mortals of this realm. What boon would you ask of me? Ask for longer life, ask for supplies, or ask for gold? Mm, supplies. supplies. I, I think I'm gonna ask for gold just because we, we got some food here. So the way I, I ex saw this game being played is you have some gold, you have some food, and you have your health here right you can buy gold uh, you can buy weapons and armor and stuff like that with the gold the food i don't i didn't quite understand what the food is for but i think it's some sort of um healing mechanism uh and your health is your health so since we're just beginning i think i'm gonna choose ask for gold merit seems surprised it is unlike an adventurer to beg for coin but very well, if that is your wish, the dealer draws you three gold gain cards. I'm sure you are grateful for that. 30 gold. And 
15 gold. Okay. Remember, mortal, that bold heroes make for great ballads, but survivors think twice before meddling in the affairs of gods and monsters. Okay. Let's go here. Twisted Canyon. That first moment. That glinting weapon. The call to action, to adventure. Truly, there is nothing like it. You see a weapon glinting in the sunlight, lying next to a skeleton at the bottom of the canyon. The walls of the canyon are covered with thick vines, perfect for climbing. Climb down to retrieve the weapon or leave it. Climb down to retrieve the weapon, of course. Okay, so we will have the success cards and the failure choose card. These options. Okay, and we have to choose. Ah, oh, man. This one. Damn it. You begin to make your way down the cliff face, but soon slip and fall painfully onto the rocks below. The dealer draws you one health pain card. Okay. You lose 15 oh, health. Oh, dear. You retrieve the weapon from the ancient corpse. Okay. You got a sword. Okay. During combat, press left mouse button to attack. It has 23 damage. Would you like to equip the sword? Yes, I would. A moment to savor. That will make you much more effective. I was never a fan of illusion or pretense. Here, I'll make an exception. Mr. Lionel. While just enjoying your evening meal at the local tavern, a strange old man takes the seat next to yours. He taps your shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention, and you notice that he appears to be a goblin, poorly disguised as a human. His wizard face grins at you with a hint of madness. My name is Mr. Lionel. If you give me what I need, boy, I will conjure you I will conjure up your heart's desire with this wizarding wand of my own creation. He cackles uncontrollably for a few moments, then sits patiently waiting for your answer. Give him the bread from your plate. Well, we don't know what he wants, so what do you need? Need? I need to help you. Mr. Lionel taps his staff on the ground and a shield materializes at your feet. There you go, old bean. He smiles a worn, warm grin that reveals all his chipped and yellow teeth. Your face reminds me of my son. I haven't met you before, have I? Draw one shield card. Shields provide... Okay, shields with this trait to reflect. Shields with this trait allow the hero to reflect projectiles. So you must press Q to reflect the projectiles and counter weapons with the straight allow the hero to counter their foe's attacks look for the green attack indicator above the foe's press Q to uh, counter okay so okay you can now reflect your opponent's ranged attacks using your shield make good use of this skill if you wish to survive okay choose your next card Bound once more, seeking the heart of it all. You have discovered the exit area. Take the stairs. You embark upon the next leg of your adventure. You are on the final floor of our simple map. Your opponent waits here for you. Find him. If you defeat me, well, it is early to be talking about victories and losses. Let us see what you're made of. Okay. Ambush. What did you think would happen with a card called Ambush, eh? A slight rustling behind you is all the warning you get that your life is in grave danger. Draw one monster card. Okay. That means we have have three opponents I think so here is the part where we go into the RPG section of the game let's see okay. 
Okay. You can now counter your opponent's attacks. Hit the counter button when you see the flashing indicator. Okay. While searching the area for anything worth salvaging, you realize that one of your opponents is only pretending to be dead. Uh, yeah. Oh, come on. Okay. A quick weapon blow to the head fixes that. You finish searching the area. The dealer draws you three gain cards. Equipment. Got a shield. I cannot okay. expect you to get by without some protection. You already have a shield, so. No. Really? Is that what you're going to do? Yeah. Five food. Three food. I'm sure it's not called Dead Man's Gorge without reason. Huh, okay. While crossing the ancient rope bridges of Dead Man's Gorge, you hear sounds of movement from below. It's an ambush. Again? Only two. It's time. You recover what you can from the dead. The dealer draws you three gain cards. Good. A strong left arm is as important as a strong right arm, after all. Okay, we have a shop here. In a shady grove off the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade you with wandering adventurers. Approach the shop. Greetings, wise traveler. I have much to offer you. If you were wondering why you've been collecting all that gold, you now have your answer. We're starting to get into the meat of the game now. The back and forth between resources and rewards. Okay. Healing cap, sword, explorer's hel helmet, and Damocles. Okay. Explorer's helmet reveals stairs encounter upon entering the level and grants a gold bonus for revealing every encounter on the level. Okay. And this one, any healing that the player receives is doubled. Hmm. Okay, then. Healing cap it is. Increasing the effect of one sort of magic with another. All you need is a channel for power, and it's simple enough. During combat, press 2 to throw knives in 8 cardinal directions. Well, why not? Artifacts provide powerful special abilities to use in combat, but it takes time to ready them. Food, I think we got enough. You sure you want to leave? Yes. You have reached my first champion. A good man, driven to madness by a war that took all from him. Wife and child, kith and kin. From such dark and brittle iron I forge my tools. 
Now we see your metal. Okay. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. You've discovered the Jack of Dust. Some enemy attacks cannot be blocked or countered. Get out of the way or stop them with your own counter attack. to the worms with him. Perhaps there is peace for him in the grave, poor soul. One champion has been sent to the cabinet. Yet we are only at the start of our road. You will face 11 more opponents who will test your strength, your memories, and your resolve. Few fall at the first hurdle. None reach the last. We have wagered, and you have won. You may claim your rewards, yet I will also claim mine. As you improve, so do I. Balance must be retained. As a reward for defeating the bandit Jack, you receive these new cards. Jack of Skulls. Dead King's Hall. Local Peasant. Devil's Choice, River, Captain of the Guards. Okay, some new cards. These must be equipment, I think. Yeah, Medium Armor, Chains of Rage, Mercenary Contract, Medium Armor again, Fortitude's Breath, that's a shield, I think, and Desperate Measures. Defeating the Bandit Jack, you will receive new challenges. Okay. Bandit attack. Maze of traps. Goblins. Shall we deal again? Okay, guys. So, this was the first mission. Dungeon, sorry. Which I think it was basically a tutorial. Uh, and like the dealer said, there's 11 more dungeons. So uh, I think I'm going to stop here for now with this episode. I hope you like the game. Um, if you do, leave a comment or uh, you know, click the like button, whatever you want to do. Uh, and uh, I will see you next time. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.